Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, GSM Tricks Updated. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix any phone that is having having a full shot circuit on its motherboard. Today, I it is Techno Spark 6 Go KE5. Yeah, I think that everyone knows this phone. This one is not powering on, yeah, because of the full shot. I tried to press on the key on the power key, but there is no sign of life. Yes. So here, always don't do anything without checking and having the full shot circuit on its motherboard. Yeah. If you check the battery and then you find that the battery is having enough voltage. You have to or uh, to check on the motherboard if there is no full shot yes okay let me show you how you can troubleshoot any phone that is having or that is that is suspected to have a full shot on this motherboard yeah you must have a multimeter like this one let me power on the multimeter now we have to set the multimeter on the voltage check yeah the voltage range we want to check the battery the voltage from the battery yeah now these are the probes from my multimeter yes huh? its own probes uh, was old and I have changed them with this yeah now let me check the voltage from the battery you you have to look here yeah okay now i'm checking the voltage from the battery i have 3.6 volts that the this voltage is enough to power on the phone yeah do you mean uh, it means that our phone is not having problem of battery yeah again and then see if the phone will not power on yeah let me press on power key this is the power key but no sign no signal of life yes okay let's continue but before we continue check if you have been you have already subscribed to our channel if not try to do it subscribe to our channel yes subscribe to our channel like share and comment yes tell us how you see things how we see our videos if our videos are helping you tell us tell us in the comment section now let's continue first of all check at the battery connect on the motherboard you have to check at the battery connect yeah if there is no full shot yes okay let's go i think that everyone is seeing here at the multimeter and at our motherboard yeah you to detect the uh, short circuit you have to set out your multimeter at here you see the circuit and the, the beeping mode yeah see here i think that everyone is seeing here yeah my 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 multimeter is old but it's still working with correct yes okay let let me check here uh -huh. we have to set our multimeter at the beeping mode the beeping range yeah okay here i create a short circuit yeah if you connect the two probes from your multimeter you will hear a sound yeah okay so let's put have to put the lead this is not red but it is brown and then it replaces the lead color the red flow now this is the gnd see this color i replace with the gnd the black one with this this is this is what well, uh, this is gnd here gnd or you can do like this put this 
the GND on this shield and they put the uh, positive here okay here it means what it means that we have a full shot circuit yeah okay okay yeah if you hear a sound from this point the positive and the, the gn it means that this motherboard is having a full shot circuit yeah a full shot circuit means what it means that it is a a, uh, a connection between the positive and the negative side of one of the components or, or, or that are on the motherboard in that case you have to check every capacitor every capacitor that you see around the power ice the cpu this is the EM, emmc and the dc is, is this is distributing voltage from the battery to uh, other components like the emmc cpu and the so on yeah okay now as we found that we have a full shot circuit we have to check we have to to test our capacitors that are mounted on this motherboard yeah okay or capacitors from the battery yeah we have to check them yeah okay let's go uh -huh. to check every capacitor to check any capacitor you have to put the lead probes on the gn on the sheet or wherever you want even here there is a ground there is ground even here yes let me put it here and check the positive side of every capacitor on the motherboard these are these lines are from the best this is the side the negative side this line on this line these are negative side yes this is negative side of this capacitor it beeps it always beeps because it is a gen side the negative side okay so you have to check the positive side if you find the that the positive side is beeping it means that this capacitor is having a problem yeah okay uh -huh. this this capacitor is beeping at both si both sides of it yes negative and the positive side are beeping yeah uh, 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 or this 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 capacitor the four capacitors number one number two number three number four these are from the battery they they supply the voltage from the battery to this ic this is our ic now we are checking every capacitor from the battery and then we find that it is beeping yeah okay uh -huh. <coughs> sometimes it is not a capacitor that is having a problem and you can find it that this ic is having short to test it to check it if it is having short you have to to put so you have to connect the to apply the voltage from dc power supply okay <coughs> sorry have to apply to apply the voltage from the dc power supply and check if you don't have a uh, heating part yeah if it is the, the if it is this uh, power IC that is having problem that is having short circuit you will hear no you will you you will feel a heat from this IC. we want to check if there is no other component that is that is beeping like it this this is
this and this yeah even this capacitor is from the bed oh okay this is what we call full shot full shot if you hear a sound from this side these two sides it means that this motherboard is having a full shot circuit yeah okay let's continue to check if no other capacitors that are having short no this one is not having short and this one hey, this one this one is having full short circuit let me check this one no no full shot no full shot again no full shot we saw we see that this phone is having a full shot signal so there is another method to solve the problem of full shot signal yeah here i have another tool a tool that will help us to remove the full shot from the motherboard yeah this tool is called shot killer as you see here it's shot killer shot killer and it is used to remove the full shot from the motherboard of any device so it may it may be a computer motherboard or mobile phone motherboard <laughs> we have to put this black we have we have to put we have to put the black probes the black cable to the gnd this is gnd let me let me power on this door okay you see this door I, I told you that is called shot killer. It kills some shot, kill some shot. Yeah, if you have any full shot, you can use this to remove the full shot. Yeah, okay. Let me uh, adjust the voltage. Let me select 3.5 voltage let me add yes 4.2 volt volts are enough to kill the shot if the fairies will also continue to remove one by one one by one the one by one capacitors yes okay let me apply this voltage Okay, uh, I told you that you put the black props, black uh, cable to the GND, and we put the LED cable to the positive light. Then you we may hear the sound. See? <laughs> have you heard? Have you heard, heard any sound? Yeah. Now there is no sound from the shot kill from our shot killer no sound i think that the shot killer killed our full shot yes okay i hope let me check with my multimeter and see if i will get a na the shot from our motherboard get a shot and i can check yes no sound it means what if you get no if you get no sound if you get no sound it means what it means that yes okay the multimeter is not beeping 
when I apply oh. okay check yes no sound no sound it means what it means that the short circuit is removed yeah uh, I advise I advise you to buy this tool because it's very important in hardware services. Yes, okay. Have to check if our phone will power on because of the because the full shot is removed. Yeah, let me connect the screen. Let me connect the screen and connect the bed. Yes. Okay. Let me try to power on the phone. Let me try to power on the phone. Yes. Wow. The phone is powered on now it is because of our tool our big tool our short killer yeah okay you see it was at 4.2 volts the reason why he has removed the shot the full shot from our device yes 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 okay now our phone is working correct yes the full shot is totally removed yeah okay yes okay thank you for watching this video don't skip without don't leave without it subscribing to our YouTube channel we are here because of you we are helping you and you are helping us thanks for watching see you soon in the next video thank you for being with us